Hi everyone, my name is Thi Huyen Nguyen from L3S Research Center, Hanover, Germany. It's my great honor to present our work, Human vs. ChatGPT, Effect of Data Annotation in Interpretable Crisis-Related Microblock Classification. During crisis events, a large volume of information is posted on microblogging platforms such as Twitter, Human organizations usually demand information from different classes, such as caution and advice, affected individuals, infrastructure damage, and so on. So it's necessary to develop automatic methods to classify tweets into different humanitarian classes. The proposed methods should be both efficient and trustworthy so that it can be trusted by stakeholders and deployed in real-fly scenarios. There exist many works on tweet classification, however, most of previous works only focus on model performance but not model interpretability. Some recent studies rely on human annotated rationals to develop interpretable by design classification models that can classify tweets into different classes and extract rationals as supporting evidence for the output labels simultaneously. However, human annotated rationals are not always available, especially for new coming crisis events, and the annotation process is time consuming. To address this shortcoming, we explore the power of ChatGPT for automatic annotation of rationals. <coughs> Here is our proposed approach. We compare human and ChatGPT annotation and their impact on tweet classification on an active learning setup. First, we sample a small set of uh, tweets, uh, give it to humans and ChatGPT to annotate rationals. Then we use uh, the label data to train our model. Next, we predict rationals on unlabeled data and compute the confidence score of the predicted rationals. Then we select uh, a new set of tweets based on the confidence score and give it to human and ChatGPT to uh, annotate uh, the data for the next training route. We repeat uh, those steps and uh, stop after Q iteration. For more information on the method, experimental setups, and evaluation, please read our paper. Thank you.